The creepy not frightening nun with Marilyn Manson's makeup comes on screen once again. Before anything, I must say I couldn't understand the positive reviews on this film. Are you kidding? Did you watch the same movie that I did and still you say that was good? Okay. In Nun 2, we once again follow Sister Irene, played by Tysa Farmiga, who is the younger sister of Vera Farmiga, who is actually played the Lauren Warren in Conjuring Universe. If we separate the movie in two parts, the first half and the second half, you may find the second half more entertaining, but for me the whole movie was trash. And if you have watched the Nun 2 or you are going to watch the Nun 2, you definitely are the fans of Conjuring films. And uh, I must confess, Conjuring 1 was great, Conjuring 2 and 3 they were good, but about none, I even didn't like the Nun Chapter 1. Let's not even talk about Nun 2. But if you had liked the Nun Part 1 and you enjoyed watching that film, you may not have a problem with this part. If jump scares and scary situations may please you in horror films, um, you certainly are not going to have a problem. It's totally okay. This movie is worth to watch for you. Now, let me tell you why this horror film didn't work out for me. But before anything, I must say, this movie goes around the boarding school with lots of kids. These kids are about 12 years old. I mention this to say that there are some characters in the film that they are totally pointless. They have nothing to do with the film. For example, this little girl, Sophie uncomfortably keep watching Maurice and she has a teenage crush on him and she's totally pointless in this film she has nothing to do with the plot and also Debra she's just there she doesn't do anything special she has a poor character so problem number one for me is poor characterization the second problem of this horror film is funny sequences even from the opening scenes there is a Price who suddenly flies up and he catches fire and he burns to die. Just what the hell? Hey, look, there is a burning flying man floating in the sky. Just what the hell, dude? Or even the fighting scenes with the nun. No weapon, no knife, no axe, nothing, literally nothing. Bare hand, bare foot. Just what the hell is that? And there are lots of scenes in this film that children hear the noise uh, in that creepy castle style school and they go and check just why why do you do that you are a 12 year old girl and the next problem is lots of dark scenes i barely could watch the film and yeah that's a good way to hide your bad cgi good job and even the devil she's not a scary at all as i said and as lots of other people say she has a merely manson's makeup with non cloth Kidding? Is she scary? I think the time of horror films with jump scares and scary noises had gone. We need something new. We need new tricks. We need interesting story. And everything in Nun 2 is predictable. There is nothing that you haven't watched before. Everything is repetitive. Repetitive plot, repetitive evil, repetitive tricks. Literally everything. The IMD rate to this movie is 6, Rotten Tomato is 44, and Metacritic is 47. And my rate to this bullshit is 3 out of 10. The movie goes worse and worse till the end, and it consists on constant jump scares and a very weak story. That's all. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please tap the subscribe button, then send it to your friends. If there is any question, any mistake, or any suggestion, please let me know. Love you all. See you soon.